Uh oh. What's up guys, Eric, I'm out here with the Creighton 8S, the new Creighton 8S. Uh, I'm just, uh, you know, very excited to get this baby back out. It's been way too long. Um, she's been basically, uh, uh, you know, uh, donated uh, for science, you know, for, uh, for Mitch Looper to, you know, to get a head start on making some parts for this thing. Um, I do have uh, a prototype chassis on it now and a motor mount. Um, and this thing is just complete beast mode now. Um, I did some testing uh, last week and, and nothing bent, nothing broke. Um, so I'm going to get out here today and give her another hard run, see what happens. Uh, first of all, a uh, big shout out to uh, my good friend Rich Duper Bash and uh, Chris Anthony from Commander Astig RC. Uh, for a while now, we've been uh, sharing tips and uh, like ideas for setup and, 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 and uh, modifications and stuff like that. And uh, what I've come to the conclusion now is, I, you know, the, the, the shocks on this thing out of the box are a little bit stiff uh, for my liking as far as doing big airs and stuff. Uh, they may be fine for bashing and all that, but uh, you know when a when a 30-pound truck is landing, I need a little bit you know a little bit more cush uh, suspension. So I did go 30 weight in the front, and 35 in the rear, uh, just to kind of you know hopefully help out with that because I was bending some shock shafts and stuff. And I do have now a Hobby Star uh, a 5692 motor in here uh, with a 25 tooth pinion, and then the uh, Hobby Wing uh, Max 5 ESC. Uh, this is the motor mount that Mitch has created to uh, house a 56 size motor. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm just uh, super excited about that. And the chassis right here, uh, this is um, a, a four millimeter chassis. It's, it's hard to see probably in this camera right here, but it does have stiffener plates in here. And this chassis will come as a kit where you can add as many plates or you can take away plates, uh, you know, for your desired stiffness. Um, like, like the maximum is about 16 millimeters worth of uh, 70 to 75. So <laughs> that should definitely, uh, uh, you know, hold up. I mean, it's a very unique design, very genius. I mean, it's just, it's an absolutely beautiful chassis. So, you know, I did give this truck one run uh, last week uh, with this chassis and uh, nothing bent, uh, taking airs and, and a couple stacks and everything, and she, she's held together. So I'm hoping to give her another little test today. Um, I, I, I'm still running 2.5 million in the center, and I did go to uh, about 800 or so in the front, because uh, stock uh, is, uh, is 100,000 when the front and rear the manual says 500,000, but I don't know if there's a typo, but a uh, Rich uh, had found that out. So I put 500 with a mix of, of 2.5 to create about 800,000. And then I got stock this in the This thing uh, is definitely totally beefcake now. I did weigh it. She, she weighs in at exactly 29 pounds, uh, you know, with all the electronics and, and, and the new chassis. The new, uh, this M2C chassis is only about 200 grams uh, heavier than stock. And that's not bad at all, considering it's got all this extra bracing and stuff in here. I mean, it's just a total, beefcake chassis it's a little bit dirty from from earlier testing but all right guys we're gonna give this thing a blast and see what's up Took some rocks with it. Ah. Whoa! <laughs> Got knocked off course there at the last second. Oh! 
Oh, guys, it is super rough out here. Oh. <laughs> Guys, it is insane for a 30 pound truck to be getting that kind of air. Oh, right on the nose. close <laughs> looks like it took part of my ramp with it oh yeah oh well <laughs> cleared it <laughs> I was hoping to clear all these mounds oh 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 major noser uh oh oh that was close <laughs> little ramp shaver there oh ah, LVC <laughs> tell you what guys I am really impressed I mean, this truck is taking on some of the some of the airs and beatings that, uh, that these 6S rigs do, you know, uh, upgraded. And that chassis is still perfectly straight. Get this thing in the light so we can see it. Yep, I mean, it's taking some nosers, I mean, stacks, rolls. And again, this truck comes in right under uh, 30 pounds. And uh, that's a lot to be said. You know, again, the chassis, it's got these, it's got these center braces, but tower to tower is still straight. The front and rear braces are still straight. Uh, but it's got, you know, again, it's got these stiffener plates, the stiffener plates that run across the rear and across the front. And uh, it's made into the chassis. There's a stiffener bar that goes all the way across around the center diff and all the way to the back. And then your stiff, uh, stiffeners are bolted on top of that. Um, and this thing is, is taking a complete beating. And, uh, you know, it's not exactly normal to, to jump, you know, a fifth scale truck, you know, uh, that harsh, but it's just uh, what I enjoy doing. <laughs> and this thing is a complete tank now. I mean, huge shout out to M2C Racing, uh, Mitch Looper, uh, for, his, uh, for his design. And uh, it took him a while to do this. It ain't something he just threw out overnight. I mean, this is a well thought out chassis. And this thing is definitely holding tough. All right, guys, again, huge shout out to M2C and Arma for this amazing rig. Uh, you know, just like any, just like any other truck, you know, that we get, you know, if, if you bash hard, uh, you know, upgrades are needed, which is completely normal. Um, but you know, this this truck with with, with some upgrades and, and a new electronic system is just a is just a complete animal and a complete riot to drive. All right, guys, until next time, RC Dude One, peace out.